Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my mini planner from 2020. This, I have a completed planner. I don't think last year I had a completed planner. I can't remember why. Maybe I just didn't keep it. So, but now I think I'm, I'm going to be keeping my mini for sure and my classic. Those will be my completed planners at the end of the year. And I'm going to do a little flip through of all of my mini spreads. It's really, really chunky since it is on mini discs, um, but I love it. So I was using, I've been using the dashboard mini planner and I'm still using the same layout. I just love this, this for um, on the go. So when I first started, I was using the Homebody mini dashboard planner and then halfway through the year, I switched to the one I'm currently using now. So I got this. I don't ever use the monthly, so I don't really fill this out, except for there's one month, I think, that I kind of did a plan with me in my monthly, but I don't use these. So here's my first week, New Year's week. I just did a wrong, wrong spread. And all of my, I tried to match up, like whatever I did in my classic, I use the same sticker books in my mini. I try to change it up a little bit. So um, that's normally what I, what I do for my classic and my mini. I don't want them to be matchy matchy, but I do have them be um, like the same theme. All right, so yeah, Wrong Wrong Girls, super cute for New Year's. And then this is a pretty um, floral spread with the watercolor florals. And then of course some black stickers, always a good combo. And then I love the little stick babe girls. They're just so much fun. They're so cute. And then I think, oh, this was a color story spread. So I was able to use some of the color story stickers. I think there's like five pages that coordinated with this theme. And I was able to use them in my classic and in my mini. So I got two spreads out of those stickers. And then this week, what was this week? I guess I just did a, oh, I remember is because I did it was sticker, National Sticker Day? No, I don't remember what this was for. <laughs> I don't remember why I did this um, theme. Cause I don't think, oh, I think it was my planniversary. That's what it is. That's why I use these balloon stickers. Just trying to remember why I did some of these spreads. But yeah, my planniversary that's coming up. Actually, it's next week. All right, so February, I love this spread. So this is, um. Okay, so these stickers, like these really pretty uh, blue, like these blue and then some of these like grayish colors, there weren't a lot of these in, I think this is botanicals, they are kind of just like sporadically in that sticker book. So there wasn't enough to be able to do this type of spread in a classic, but it was just enough to do a mini, which I love. Sometimes that happens, they don't really have like a lot of a certain color or like design in a sticker book and when that happens I try to use those in my mini but I love that I love this color combo all right and then here's another floral one I believe this is layered florals I think I can't remember and then here is my mom's birthday was this week so I did like a birthday spread just fun super cute and I believe this was a gardening sticker sticker book with all the succulents and plants. All right, and then March, I did a Teresa Collins spread. I try to do like black, pink, and I use a lot of foil, which isn't my favorite, but it came out pretty. Oh, I love this one. This is Wild Styled. It's more like a neutral. I love the. I love Wild Styled. It's so neutral and, and just pretty all the leopard and the pink and the gray and then I have my squad goals spring spread pretty sure this was the first week of spring I never know like because I don't put like first day of spring I didn't at least in here um, some of the reasons why I do a spread in my classic I don't note them sometimes in my mini so I can't remember why I did some of these spreads sometimes but I'm pretty oh yeah it says hello spring there. There you go. So yeah, first first day of spring was that week. Okay, I obviously didn't use this spread. And I can't even remember why I used these stickers. But it was a fun, fun spread. 
Oh, I think I remember why I didn't use this spread. Oh yeah. That was the my last day of work. Now I remember before we had to go on lockdown. So that's why I didn't use this spread. I tried to make like a fun, happy spread, but you know, it was the first week that I was off from work and I was just kind of like not having it, I guess. So it didn't get used. I mean, it was pretty, but yeah, that was not fun. Okay. Now April. Okay. So here's April. This is the only monthly spread I've done in my mini. It's super hard to decorate these little tiny boxes. And like I said, I really don't use this. So I just, I just did a plan with me video to show how I would do it. Because I know some people use maybe like only a mini planner. And so they use their, their monthly. I mean, it, it was really hard. But it's definitely doable. But yeah, it came out cute. I used Homebody. Homebody. Alright, and here's a wrong wrong spread. I used, I love the, the Paris themed ones. Of the Going Places wrong wrong sticker books. They're so pretty. And then here is a Year to Shine. I believe in my classic, I did more of like the blue colors. So that's why in here I just did like the pink, the purple, just to switch it up. Came out pretty. And then here, okay, I think, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I was still trying to use this for like on the go, even though I wasn't going anywhere, but kind of still trying to use it in that way. Um, this week I tried something different since we were still like locked down and I try to do it more as like a journaling, um, journaling, doodling type of gratitude spread. So that was fun because that actually, this is the reason why I started journaling because I like this. Eventually I didn't need to do this anymore because I'm pretty sure I go back to work like a little bit after this. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. I actually need to start doodling more because that's fun. I'm not the best at it, but it's fun to try. All right, and then, um, oh, bookish. I really didn't like these girls at first, but then I started using them. Actually, even that whole sticker book, the bookish one, I didn't think I was going to like that one, but it ended up like being one of my, I really, really, really enjoyed using that sticker book. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, it's super cute. So I think I was still like, oh yeah, it was my last week. This was my last week of being on lockdown because then I got to go back to work because my work got reclassified as essential. So that was good. So yeah, this was my first week at work and also my nephew's birthday. I did a Mickey spread for him in my classic. So I did a mini spread um, in my mini. Uh, but yeah, I love how this one turned out. This was obviously before we had any Disney stickers. So I had a you know, make my own little mini heads. But it was a lot of fun. I love how this one turned out. Definitely one of my favorites. Love that one. Okay, then May. Just a pretty floral spread. I think with Wild Styled. Oh, for Mother's Day. That was what this week was. And then this was the, oh gosh, this is called like Stay Wild. One of the Be Happy boxes. They had some pretty um, leopard stickers in there. I actually need to pull this sticker book out because that was a good one. It, it was really small, but um, it had like pastel colors in the leopard print, which was really cool. Okay, and this one, this one was, I did a big, I used big stickers in my classic planner. So then I used the remaining big stickers from a color story for the big planner. I used the remaining stickers in this one, which was really hard because there wasn't really very much left. Um, but I kind of made it work. A little and then this week I think was oh gosh I think it was like be yourself sticker book one of the back to school student sticker books all right June Let's see oh squad goals I did a workout themed one because I was trying to try to motiv motivate myself to work out but it didn't really work out very well yeah oh squad announcement zoom oh yeah that's right that's when squad started 
so that's why I like keeping the planners because it's it's kind of like a little memory keeping in a way you can you know look back and see when things happened um, that's why I like to hold on to my planners because I do like to flip through the old ones all right this one I use one of those sticker multi packs that have like this the sticky notes and like those punched cards so like all of these are sticky notes right here which I like using as stickers it's a great way to, to use them because I always forget about them but I really love this boss babe one I love the colors cute all right and then another super cute squad goals spread I'm pretty sure this is a summer spread or a summer week um, but I love like the little the girls in the pool or like the water I love that little scene Oh, and then this one, I believe was, oh my gosh, what is this? Is it Summer Vibes? I think it's Summer Vibes. I, yeah, I think it is. But I love pink. I think this is where I realized, like, I love pink and green, that color combo. It's so good. It's such a good color combo. But yeah, this is the spread where I realized that that color combo is really, really good. All right, so July... All right, so you got 4th of July, um, obviously red, white, and blue for this one, which was kind of tricky because there's not a lot of red, white, or red and blue stickers, um, but I do like how this one came out. Super cute. And then just a floral spread for this week. I love these florals. So pretty. And then squad goals. The new squad goals. And then more of those stick girls. I love those ones so much. They just make me happy. Especially that one. The one throwing up her money is also super cute. Love these. This one was from the the Bloom Be I think it was like Bloom Be Happy Box or Bloom Bundle. I forgot what they called it. But this was the tissue paper that came in that box. Because it always comes with like a really pretty coordinated tissue paper when the whenever they do those special boxes. And this one was just like a black and white um, tissue paper. So I used some mild liners to color it and make it look even prettier, which I actually really love how this one turned out. So pretty. All right, August. Uh, here's a summer type spread with the wrong, wrong girls. It's really pretty. These girls are cute. Oh, this was a travel, tra from the travel sticker book, a traveling spread. I like that one a lot too. My nephew's birthday was this week, so I did a birthday theme for that. I hope they come out with more sticker books like that. Celebrate and Life is a Party. I love those ones. I use them a lot. And then this one, I think this was Stephanie. Yeah, Stephanie's like Live Creatively and Happy Goals. I forgot which one I used in here, but they were one of those two sticker books. Obviously didn't really use the spread very much that week, but that's okay. It's still a cute spread. All right, September. Got some florals, I think from the color story. Oh, no, it's like farmhouse. I'm not quite sure what this is from, actually, but it's cute. It's got pretty florals. It looks like farmhouse. Ooh, this one is, no, oh, this one's farmhouse and minimalist, I think. Yeah, it's the minimalist stickers. Oh yeah, and then this one's the, the planner girl for wellness. That one's really pretty. And then here's a fall spread with of course the squad goals girls. I love those ones to mark the like transition to the new season. They're my favorite to use. And then October. Ooh, another pretty farmhouse spread. I love these, like, pictures. Those, like, real-life pictures are really cute. Oh, I remember what this was. This was coffee. International or national something like that. Coffee day was this week, so I did a coffee spread. That's why I did this one. Oh, this one's really cute with all of the Mickey and Minnie and their friends. Of course, with the Disney stickers. I love those stickers so much. And then I'm not sure where these are from. Um, but it's a fun spread. Looks cute. 
Ooh, another Mickey spread, Mickey and Minnie spread. My favorite theme, the green leaves with black and white stripes. I love that. Didn't really use it very much that week, but I still love it. This is probably one of my top favorite spreads in this planner. My sister gave me this idea. Um, I, I just asked her, like, what should I what should I do for a spread? And she told me she wanted me to use those skulls. And then I came up with this, and I absolutely love this spread. I would have never used those skulls as she told me to use them because I thought they were kind of, I don't, I'm not really a fan of skulls, but I think I was able to make them look pretty and cute, which I'm happy with because I just love how this one turned out. It's so cute, little bats. And then the florals, I love that one so much. All right, November. Ooh, this is another one that I really, really like. This was totally inspired by a couple of planners. I was inspired by Linnea from Make a Happy Plan uh, to make this spread because she did like this um, wind of leaves, I think. That's what they call it. Uh, she was inspired by another planner, just like everybody was inspired by a bunch of people. But yeah, love how this one turned out with the Pocahontas. Love those stickers. And then I did another cute little stick babe girl spread because I just love those I love those stickers this one, I love this one too um the Mickey and Minnie stickers a lot of people have been like using them because they're they're like the cutest little expressions and like faces and positions that they're standing and sitting in so they're perfect to like have them leaning up against things have them sitting on top of things and I love seeing like how everybody was like finding different ways to make them look like they're interacting with other the other stickers in the spread so definitely had to do one of those I love how that one turned out so cute here's my Thanksgiving spread which I feel like we don't really get a lot of Thanksgiving stickers. So I love these little turkeys. I thought they were so cute. And I love this color combo. This is another color combo that I really enjoy. Is this like blue with the orange. It's really pretty. Alright, in the last month, December. Alright, this one was inspired by one of my planner friends, Amber. From Amber Plans Her Day. She used like these florals with the these really pretty ornaments. I love how that looked. So I had to do that in my mini planner. So pretty. Here's my bell spread. I try to do like a wintry, Christmassy type bell spread. Came out cute. A little chip right there in the corner. Oh, this is another one of my top favorites. Another one that my sister told me to do. She wanted me to use these little corgis. And I just love how they turned out. I love that one like knocked out under all the ornaments. He's so cute. But yeah, love this spread. It's so adorable. And then my last spread, I just did like a hot cocoa. Oh no, it's not the last spread. Sorry. I did um, for Christmas week a hot cocoa spread. Super cute. This is the last one. Again, I really didn't really use it much. I was on vacation, so I really didn't have to use this planner very much. Um, but yeah, I did a wrong wrong spread for the first week of the new year. So, oh, and I use Live La Posh. Her stickers, her floral sticker books are amazing. I make sure to always get her floral sticker books because they're so good. And she had some New Year themed um, florals in her book recently. All right, so those are all of my mini spreads. I love, I love my little mini dashboard planner. It's so cute. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching me flip through my 2020 mini planner. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.